Hello, it is Sunday the 6th and I just wanted to hop on here because I wanted to let you know I um, just pre-ordered House of Sky and Breath from Indigo because I didn't realize but they have an Indigo exclusive. I think it's probably just going to be the same as the Barnes & Noble exclusive because we don't have Barnes & Noble here and vice versa so I think it'll just be the same as that. There's some extra chapter or something i don't really know um but i decided to get that didn't really know where to order it to because technically the book comes out on the 15th or 14th um but indigo indigo exclusive they don't have it in stores they only have it online so it said like get it at the earliest of february 22nd so I could have picked it up at the store, like they could have shipped it to the store here, but it's at the 22nd and I'm going to be gone by then because that's my reading week, I think. Did I just do the wrong thing? Yeah, no, that's the Tuesday of my reading week, so I won't be here. I might like come up to the city during my reading break. I don't know, come shopping or something, but I don't know for sure. So I got it shipped to my mom's house and because that's what I'll, where I'll be. I'm really excited but that means I also can't start it until depending on whenever it ships which sucks. Also it's on sale it's normally $37 here Canadian and I got it for $27.75 so I just figured I'd get it today. That's exciting but I guess while we're here I'll give you a tiny reading update. There have been a bunch of reading sprints today, but I haven't really been in the mood to do anything. I started off the sprint saying like I'm just going to do school because that's what I need to do. Um, but then I have just kind of lost my focus as the day went on. So I did sprint for a couple, like one sprint or one and a half sprints, I don't know. But I'm still reading The Good Girls, but I'm on page 140, 141. So I have like 200 pages left and I'm a little upset that it's like the sixth and that's all I'm in on my first book. But you know, sometimes that happens and you just gotta live with it. I was hoping to do some more damage today, but I'm not done the schoolwork I need to do for today, so that sucks. Oh, but I did film today. I filmed my January wrap up. So that's one productive thing I did. I'm hoping to finish this tomorrow or the next day. That would be like ideal. I shouldn't be taking this long to read it, but I've just got so much other stuff going on, you guys know, so. But I did just let you know, because I'm so excited about that book. And now I have a pre-ordered, so. I would've just went and bought it in store. It would've been a normal version, but if I can get an exclusive, I'll wait. I might be sad that I'm doing that but it'll be worth it, I hope. Hi, so it is Monday and I have did a little bit of damage. I've done a little bit of damage of in the good girls. I'm now on page 259, so I have 82 pages left of this, which is good. I might do some more reading tonight, but I need to have a shower. And I don't know if I'm gonna do more reading because the last little bit of me reading, I was like falling asleep. So I don't know if that will happen, but I am enjoying this. Not as much as the first one, I'll say that for sure. The first one I felt like five stars the whole time. This one is four, I'm pretty sure. Unless the next 80 pages like rock my world. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be at four stars. I think in this one, I'm interested in certain people's storylines more than others. I felt interested in all of them in the first book but this one I'm not as much um there is like one girl that's like kind of in a love triangle and I'm really enjoying those ones and we're barely getting anything from her I'll try and find a book with a love triangle because obviously I'm in the mood for that so I'm gonna try and do that maybe I'll ask the people on the citadel what their favorite love triangle book is um not like i want it to be like really centered around love triangle i don't really want like another genre with a love triangle in it just not i just want the love triangle at the moment but yeah i'm hoping i will finish this at least by tomorrow 
I have to. But I'm glad I read over 100 pages today. Yeah, it's like 8.15. I'm gonna have a shower. Then maybe read more. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna see how much my shower wakes me up, I guess. Or probably should edit, but I've been really avoiding that. Probably should do my dishes, but I really don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to go to bed, I think. But that's gonna be before 9, and I think that's a little too early. 9 o'clock? Okay, but I probably should wait until at least 9 o'clock to go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, I'll update you tomorrow because if I read more tonight I probably won't update you. It is February 8th and I finally finished my first book in February. We technically only have 20 days left in this month I just realized and um, I have a lot of pages to read. I am conflicted. Um, I said yesterday that this was not going to be as good as the first one just like I knew from what I had read and um but I was still enjoying it the twist in this is something that is hard to get behind I don't know I think the twist in this could be done but it just probably should have been done better and more respectfully I don't want to spoil anything but um and I think just some of the information about what the twist was, like literally, I'm like 99% sure because it's something I'm decently knowledgeable on. Um, I'm pretty sure that information just wasn't accurate. When the twist came, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then, and I was like, oh, I can get behind this. And then how it got described. And just as more of it came out, I was like, maybe maybe not maybe this shouldn't be what the twist is so yeah i don't really know how to feel i don't know what to rate it like i feel like four stars but i also feel like it 3.5 i'm probably gonna put it on goodreads as four stars but i feel like it's more of a 3.5 i'm trying to use storygraph more um it'll be a 3.5 because that's more what i feel like it is just with my conflicting thoughts at the moment now i forgot that this is a this and the perfectionist is a show so i had watched like one or two episodes i think of it i don't remember anything of it but i can picture some of the characters um so now i really want to watch that to see how this played out and because that one is technically a spin-off Pretty Little Liars, whereas this, the books definitely aren't like at all. So I'm interested to see that. So I'm gonna find, hopefully I can watch it on something. I don't know if it's on any streaming services, so we'll see. But I think it only has two seasons. I think it got canceled, but it also might have just been finished because it's only two books. I don't know, I'll have to do some research. But yeah, I'm, I'm conflicted. If you've read this book, let me know what you think. It is 8 o'clock though, and I have some other things I still need to do tonight. So I don't think I'm going to start The Beautiful, but I'm going to start it tomorrow. I have a bad feeling I'm not going to finish my TBR this month. I am staying here again this weekend, so I'll probably have some more time to read than I would if I went home. But I also have a lot of school to do. So, gotta find a balance. And editing. I need to edit and upload videos. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna start The Beautiful tomorrow. This, 3.5, I think. I think the first book could still is still good. It's still five stars in my brain. The twist in this doesn't really bring it down. I don't know why I can separate them. Because I had no clue. And some of the reviews I read were like, it's so obvious. I had no clue. <laughs> But my brain doesn't go there. Hello, so it is the next day. Sorry about the sun in the background. I am out doing grocery shopping and I just finished. And across from the grocery store is good old Starbucks in a chapters. So I'm gonna go. I don't know how much looking and what I'm gonna do in chapters, but I thought I'd just maybe take a peek. But I'm for sure getting Starbucks because I just feel like I need it right now.
got a pink drink as always. Also, the lady was rushing me, so she wasn't actually rushing me, but she was just staring at me when I was trying to figure out what I wanted, so I felt rushed. <laughs> I have reasons for getting each of these. So first I picked up Finley Donovan is Killing It. I've heard so, so much about this book lately and everyone's loving it. So I was interested in getting it and then I saw that chapter is for 25% off probably because the second one's coming out and the next, it's in February. Maybe it came out, I don't know. So I'm excited to read this. Um, basically she's an author and she's at this cafe or something with her agent and her book is about a mystery and so someone overhears and thinks she's like a contract killer and asks her to kill someone for them and yeah I think it's supposed to be like funny mystery so I'm really excited. Um, I probably, I was like excited to pick this up but I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't. 25% off just because I don't need to be buying books but here I am. <laughs> then I found Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. One, they, okay, they had so many books that they never have a chapter. It's like I could have bought so many more but I didn't because I'm trying to stick to just a few. So they never have this at my chapters and I was considering just listening to the audiobook for this because people say read, listen to the audiobook so I'm going to listen to the audiobook with this and read along but for some reason it is only $19.95 which is really cheap for Canadian books honestly books in Canada are expensive so I just had to pick this up plus it on Amazon it was literally the same price and I would have had to pay like extra taxes and at chapters I have the rewards program so I get like 10% off everything I buy so take 10% off of what the price was also because I get that and then I got Final Girls by Riley Sager so I know that this is some people's least favorite book by him saying that I've never read any books from him and the reason I've never read it is because I have heard that you should just read his book in his books in um, publication order just because if you read his first one way later it's just not gonna compare to his more recent ones except for Survive the Night apparently that one's bad but overall so I'm gonna try and read them in publication order and they never have this one they always have lock every door and one other one at my chapters but they had this one this time okay the picture is kind of creepy um, and so I went to look at how much it was and it was only $16 and it says it's a special value price on the cover. I'm not really sure why, but I was like, okay, I can't pass that up. Like it's here and it's $16 minus 10%. I'm getting it. So technically my total was, here's the thing. I, before I left today here, I was like, well, I'm gonna probably get Starbucks, so I might look in chapters. Should I bring my gift card? Because I have a $50 gift card for Indigo. And I was like, no, that'll make me spend more money. This would have been free, pretty much. If I would have used the gift card, I would have had to pay 97 cents. Anyway, that's my little haul for today. I need to, um, I also love the little pink ready vibes. We love that. Anyways. I need to do a grocery haul on my other channel vlog and um, then get back to doing schoolwork because I've been pretty much avoiding that by going and doing all these things. Hello. Um, don't mind the snack in the background, but today is the 11th. Friday and Mel is doing some Patreon sprints in 10 minutes, it's 5 o'clock right now. So I'm going to be reading the beautiful. I have only gotten to page 8 still. Page 8 and one paragraph in. I would like to, I made it my goal for today to get to halfway. It's a pa chapter break so we love that. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know what the vibes are. I think she's going for a long time tonight, but so that'd be great, but 
I would just like to get a chunk into this because I would really like to finish this before the weekend's over because I still I've literally only read that one book this month and it's the 11th so we gotta we gotta hurry up and it's like a shorter month you know so we gotta hurry up and I got House of Sky and Breath I don't think I'm gonna finish that one this month it really depends on when I when the book gets delivered but that's something to worry about later but I would like to finish this by a Sunday night here's to help and I'll um, update you later so mel's sprinter chaos we love it love to see it um so there was one sprint already and i only read up to page 19 because i ordered food and ate it and i started watching love is blind because someone mentioned it and it started the new season came out today but now we're on our second sprints and i'm reading and i just realized on the back of the beautiful and then in this i just realized i thought it said covent that she is taken in by the sisters of the ursuline covent but it's convent a church ish because people are like you know she's not in the know of like the witches and the vampires and i was like well she's in a coven she should know that there's witches just i'm just stupid i'm just can't read so um, that's actually the real thing. Hello, so it is Saturday, 7 o'clock. Haven't talked to you guys all day because I just kind of figured I'd wait until I had a like real update. So Mel did some sprints this morning, just a couple. And then Simone from Beyond Bookish did some sprints as well and just hopped off of those. So I thought I'd give you a update on this because I actually made some damage today so last night I got to page 80 off of the sprints last night I think I maybe vlogged a little bit last night I really don't remember got to page 80 was something not as much as I wanted to because I know yesterday it said that I wanted to get to page 232 so halfway yesterday but today I got to my goal I'm on page 232 so i am exactly halfway through the book which i'm very happy about i wanted to finish this this weekend don't know if i will just because i tomorrow's sunday um but i would like to at least get like another quarter of this done probably um but yeah tomorrow i have to tomorrow's sunday meaning i have to do school work and homework maybe finish this off on monday i'd like it to read another book this week before i'm on break or at least most of it before i'm on break i have two books here and then i have a 760 page book coming of house of sky and breath so i'd like to get everything done ex like period but if i don't get something done the only thing that i'm going to think is acceptable is house of sky and breath the other stuff i don't really have an excuse for I ordered food again because, um, yeah, it was 7 o'clock and I hadn't ate yet and I don't feel like making any making anything now. So, I'm gonna eat, watch Love is Blind. I watched two episodes last night, or like two and a half last night, so I have two and a half left that are out. And yeah, just chill. It's Saturday. I need to just chill. Oh, and today I finished editing and uploading video for my other channel so it's my first video back for that channel i think i want to start editing my next video for this channel tonight or tomorrow I'm constantly running out of storage because i film on my phone if you don't know so um i'm just trying to like get videos out there oh i didn't even say what i thought about this um i was like fine with it for like the first quarter of it it was like okay like nothing great and just not really what i was expecting but the last 80 pages i've really enjoyed more what i was expecting there's a romance in this and it's getting you know you're feeling it now and i'm really enjoying it so i'm glad i pushed through because i was like maybe there's been a reason i haven't read this yet maybe i'm gonna dnf it but no we're good her and I are good now. Little update, sorry my heat's on, but I have 60, 62 pages left of The Beautiful. 
Um, I haven't had a lot of school to do today, so I've gotten to read a decent amount. So I'm hoping to finish it tonight, but I don't know if I will. I just I don't really know how I feel about this. I think a lot will depend on these last 60 pages. There's parts that I really love and parts that are just like meh. So these last 60 pages are a big deal. And I need to freaking finish this book. It's the 15th and I've finished one book. But happy release day for House of Sky and Breath. I'm so excited for her. <laughs> I was wrong. It was only 25 pages left in this. There's just like a bunch of previews for her other books in this. So I finished it and uh, <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I put it as a three star on Goodreads. It could be 3.5. I just thought I'd love it a lot more. I think that's kind of where I'm at. Um, it wasn't bad. It just was like, could, could have been like a hundred plus pages shorter. <laughs> I just feel like there was a lot of stuff that didn't need to be in this book. Um, but the ending was really good. And like there was parts throughout this that I loved and then there'd be like parts that like dragged on. So that's my only thing. I don't know. I just feel like I wanted to love it more. And that's maybe why. Because I'd heard so many good things about it. And then um, I had taken so long to read it. So I was like really hoping that I loved it. Which I'm glad I finally read it. And it was good. And I will continue on this with the series. Let me see that in a second. But um, I think those things just made me want to love it more than I did. But I will continue on with the series. Except... Mel had just posted a video where she ranked all the fantasy and sci-fi reads that she read in 2021 and then this and the second one were on it and she said the second one's like really messy and just like was not it so I'm a little, little nervous about that I'm not gonna be in it I'm not gonna be in any hurry to read it I don't own it yet take some of it out and it would have been great I think I liked the romance aspect of it that was really good but I finally finished my second book of February and I think I don't know if I'm gonna start red white and royal blue or allegedly but I still have three books on my DVR and one is House of Sky and Breath which is 750 pages or something like that I don't know if I should just read allegedly because it's 300 pages why so it's like bigger words like bigger font or whatever or if I should get into Red, White, and Royal Blue because it'll be easier to finish allegedly faster at the end of the month if I need to. I feel good that I finally finished this and um, even if it wasn't the greatest book ever. <laughs> Hi, it is Thursday the 17th and just thought I'd do a little update. I have started Red, White, and Royal Blue. I technically started it yesterday but I read like 10 pages. And I'm only on page 28 right now, but my plan, at least for tonight, is to get to page 53 or something like that. This is cute so far, really early to say, but like, I was like really enjoying it. I liked the vibe and the voice of the character. Because we're in Alex's point of view. I don't know if it changes point, point of views throughout this, but we're in Alex's point of view currently. I don't know how to word it, but I just liked it. But um, yeah, the only thing that I can really say so far is the fact that these chapters are so long. I hate long chapters. Long chapters instantly like takes me out of it sometimes because even if it's good, I'm like, okay, when's the next chapter ending? Cause then you just kind of can get like, I don't know how it is or how it works or like how the psychology behind it works. Ending a chapter and starting a new chapter just gets me excited again, like every little bit. First chapter, 20 pages. Too long. Second chapter, 33 pages. Too long. I'm not a person that tends to like stopping in the middle of a chapter, but if a chapter is 30 pages or 20 pages, you bet I'm going to stop in the middle of a chapter if I want to. 
or else I won't pay attention for the rest of the chapter. Here's the thing. Tomorrow I'm going home for my break and the House of Sky and Breath will be there. Do I instantly just pick it up or do I try and read this over the weekend? I'm hoping to like finish my TBR this month, but I really highly doubt I will. Like while I do have this week off, there are certain school things I need to do and I would like to be productive with editing and uploading on both of my channels. So yeah, I have stuff to do. I can't just sit and read. 11 days left in February and I have this 420 pages book, House of Sky and Breath, which is somewhere between 760 and 800 pages. And allegedly, which is like just under 400 pages. Total is 1,500 pages in 11 days and that's just not what I do. So that's why I was freaking out about my how behind I was. So wish me good luck. <laughs> oh, but I filmed my TBR for March, or my rolls yesterday because I'm coming back here on like the 27th so I need to get my books for March while I'm gone and I have to do the rolls here because I don't want to bring the poster board home and then bring it back here just annoying so did that and I did six rolls because I think I'm gonna fail my TBR and I bought four books this month I figured I'd take like a little bit of pun punishment like that so Hi, so quick little update. I haven't talked to you guys since I got home. I am currently reading Red, Light, R Red White, and Royal Blue still. Um, I'm on page, just after page 100, whenever that chapter ended. But we just went to Walmart and I got a book, so I thought I'd do a little haul. I got Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. I still haven't read The Wife Upstairs, but I was really interested in this book. I love the cover. And it was 30% off, so got it for like $17, which is really cheap for books in Canada. So I got that. And finally, my package came for House of Sky and Breath. It's the 21st, and I pre ordered this and I just got it. It's huge. I have the paperback for the original, for the first one. It's like the same amount of pages, but there's also a. It's the Indigo exclusive, so it has an extra chapter to it, so I'm super excited. And I don't know if I'm going to finish this in time, because like I said, it's the 21st, and there's only 28 days in September <laughs> in February, so. But yeah, it's a little wrecked up here. So yeah, I have the paperback in the first one, so I don't have this page on the first one. I'm so excited. I might start reading this tonight, though. Hello! So it is the 23rd Wednesday, um, but I don't really have reading updates for you. I am still reading this. I'm on page 172. I'm enjoying it. I really don't know what's gonna happen. Like, it's a lot has happened. So how is this gonna have another 250 pages? I don't really know. I unfortunately still haven't started House of Sky and Breath because I did want to finish this before I started it. Oh god, I just hit myself in the face. But I don't know that that's going to happen. I don't physically think I can finish this before the month is over because I've been either like busy hanging out with family or doing school and so reading has just been put on the back burner which sucks but also like I wanna hang out with family and school's gotta happen. Here's my cat. But I knew I wasn't gonna finish my TBR and I know for sure I'm not even gonna get to start allegedly. Hopefully I'll finish this and maybe at least get halfway through House of Sky and Breath. I really don't know. Cause I um, did my rolls for March and that for my TBR, I decided to take a sixth roll because I was, knew I was gonna like completely fail my TBR, like not just like, oh, I didn't read one book. Like I've read two, this and a half. And I bought four books this month. So I just was like, oh, let's just give myself a punishment. Um, but I'm gonna also probably have to be reading a lot of this 
and like I want to read this because I'm so excited and everyone's posting content about it so like I want to watch all that but I got other things going on anyways the reason I started this clip is because I'm going to change my bookshelves around just a tiny bit if you hear my cat meowing just ignore her she just wants to be picked up <laughs> right um, so if you, I just recently posted a bookshelf tour, but this is basically what it looks like at the moment. Here's the thing. This is contemporary up to like here, and this is fantasy, sci-fi, anything in that realm. I don't want them to be stacked like that anymore because I just keep getting more and more and I actually don't have room. It's just their books out of both of these piles for my current TBR and for my March TBR because I did pick out the books for that. But my romance shelf and my thriller shelves, thriller mystery shelves are going to stay the same at least for now. I am out of room on my mystery thriller shelves at the moment. That's only spaces for missing ones. Um, and I have these two right here that are supposed to be up there. But on this bottom shelf, I just have- my cat's gonna walk right in front of me. Um, I just have like miscellaneous stuff, some psychology, like pop psychology books, astrology, yoga, makeup, and then here are my like true crime books, chicken soup, love, those are just fun to read, and then some- non-fiction kind of type of stuff so i'm going to move at least this part of these and i'm gonna take i think my fantasy and bring it down here if i have to move more of this stuff that's fine i'm just gonna try and move as little as possible i have these bookshelves these are what I used to have my bookshelf or my books on. I had two of these, but I gave one to my brother. I'm just gonna move stuff around and have like this bottom shelf be that stuff. Yes, I have a Christmas bag still. So ignore it. This is like a mess. This is just kind of a I don't know where to put this stuff, so I'm gonna put it here. Shelf. So I'm just gonna yeah, move stuff up and all that and put those books here. So we're going to do a little time lapse. Okay, so that's all I moved so far. There's my room if I want to move it. Okay. Hopefully, I don't think that's enough room for my fantasy. I'm actually gonna be honest. I don't have that much, but they're all like bigger. It's just this plus House of Sky and Breath and the beautiful is at school, not my place at school right now. Actually this is enough room. Now that I see it, here's the only thing that I hate is I have to have this separate from the first book because I have the first book in paperback. But, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh crap, I forgot the first thing. Okay, I'm gonna take out this. I don't need that on my shelves. I'll put it on the other shelves, I'm not getting rid of it. This as well, I'll just put those on my other shelves so then I can fit the beautiful here. I think it's, that's where it goes. Or it might be the shortest, I don't know. That's basically what it's gonna look like, just with another black book by Ninth House and Carnival. So I am happy with 
that. I literally can't buy books, like every single shelf. I think this will be the only shelf that'll have room on it. There is still Skyward and Midnight Library up here. I don't know if this is like considered fantasy, but it's got like, or like magical realism. This just doesn't really fit up here, but they're just gonna have to be here because you saw there's no room. And I guess I could put that cultish one over on the other bookshelf that might happen but i don't want to separate like my true crime stuff two missing from my contemporary shelf but i think that's it so this one has room i just saw my march tbr and there's another book in that pile that would actually be in my fantasy spot so maybe I'll move my true crime up there put these down there so I guess I'll just incorporate this into fantasy and if it's not technically fantasy then I don't really care. <laughs> I am running out of room, like I'm completely out of room on these shelves for my mystery thriller, which is my favorite genre, so it will continue to grow. Um, like if I'm buying any books, it's going to be that. So I'm probably just gonna stack these for the liars ones. Things will probably continuously be moving as I am getting more books. So I'm okay with this right now. make that much room? I have no clue. It makes a little bit. <laughs> so those fit. You guys also saw that I bought this the other day, but this will not fit on this shelf, or this isn't on this shelf it's supposed to go height wise it'd be on this shelf but that is gonna be a struggle so let's try it i'm out of breath for like no reason it really bothers me because it would look so good here with these other books but it's taller so it fits over here so i'm just gonna have to take one book out which there's a little bit more wiggle room I'm just gonna have to move that down. Have to build it. And then move the Vinyl Girls by Riley Sayer. Down here, and thank goodness it's a skate book. I'm gonna have to fit the second perfectionist book here, and there's not room, so we're gonna have to end up moving one of those in here. That's a March problem. But yeah, I'll have to fit two books on here, one book down here. And then the rest I think will be fine. But there's a little bit of reorganization for you. Don't know if it did, was that fun, but I'll show you what it looks like fully now. Obviously there's still books missing, but this is what it looks like now. I think romance will like dwindle more. Um, I like romance, but 
some of these books I know I won't re read so I don't really need them and some of them I just didn't really like I'm talking about you the hating game I just didn't really like it that I could get rid of it but I'm not just gonna get rid of two books especially on a shelf that like doesn't need it at the moment so that'll be another day that's all i have for you guys today i do have to finish one more paper and then i can not do school for the rest of the week so i'm hoping i'll finish this like i said and get halfway through house of sky and breath we'll find out i'll try and remember to um let you know when i start it and all that and when i finish that again i'm liking this don't know what's gonna happen for another 250 pages, but I'll find out soon. Hi, long time no talk. Um, it is February 28th, aka the last day of February, and I literally don't know the last time we talked sometime last week, but um, I haven't talked to you because I haven't been reading. I am still reading Red, White, and Royal Blue. I am on page 294, so I'm hoping to finish it tonight. It's at 420 pages. I don't know if I will, but I'm going to try. Um, I have some other stuff I need to do tonight as well, so that's the only thing. I started House of Sky and Breath, technically, but I'm, page, like, I'm on page like 24. And I was so excited for that book why have I not been reading it but I did get the audiobook on audio audible so I think I'll read it faster once I actually start reading it but this month has been a flop for the amount of reading and also what I've been reading this one is definitely my favorite of the month as long as the last 130 pages don't absolutely ruin it <laughs> um, it's definitely my favorite for the month but this is literally the third book this is literally the third book I've read this month. I've read two and a half books this month. Hmm. I'm really sad because I had a goal to like at least read five books a month in 2022. So that sucks, but hopefully I'll make up for it in March. I have a extremely busy school schedule for March, but I'm hoping I still do it. I still do good. My I have to edit my March TBR. That's one of the things I want to do tonight so I can post it tomorrow. But I have six books on my TBR plus House of Sky and Breath. So I don't know how well I'm going to do with that, but I have faith. A lot, some of them are going to be really, really easy reads. Anyways, I'm just going to sit down and read right now before I have supper and um, see how that goes. We shall see. Hopefully I finish it or at least get like... Like I said, I have 110 pages left, so I'd like to maybe just have like 50. If I have to stop tonight, like that's, I at least want to only have 50 pages left, you know? But I don't know what's going to even happen in this vlog. Like this vlog still probably is going to be long because I talk a lot. <laughs> um, but like, barely read anything, but wish me luck, I'm finishing this. Alright, so it is minutes before 8 o'clock and I finished Red, White, and Royal Blue and I loved it. It was such a solid romance and while it took me a while to read, it wasn't because of the book. I am definitely giving it 5 stars. I think it'll be, it's definitely one of my favorite romances. It was just like easy. You know, it was just one of those books that was just easy to read, easy to love. The only thing that I didn't like about it, and I mentioned this early, early on when I was reading this, I don't like how long chapters are, um, and they could have been shorter. Like there's, if you haven't read this book, there's 15 chapters in here, and it's like 418 pages. So like they could be shorter, but this was a book where I normally I don't stop in the middle of chapters, but this book I did just because. Some of them were like over 30 pages and stuff, but that's like my only gripe with it and that's not like a big deal at all. So I'm glad I finally read this because I've had it for a year, I think. I get the hype 100%. I kind of felt like I wasn't going to, but I 100% do 
such a cute romance but it also was fun with the other conversations in here as well and like you know I didn't really think I would like political stuff but it had the like right amount of it in this book um and same with like the for both the U.S. and for England so that was fun I'm glad I finished it in February though that also makes me feel better about myself because I actually finished three books this wrap-up is going to be the wrap-up for February is going to be short this is easily my favorite book of this m that I read this month not really a competition quite honestly wish me luck for March and hopefully it's a better reading month for me and for you even if you had a good reading month in February we always want better ones I don't know but yeah five stars and that's February so I guess I will just close out the reading vlog here I'm not gonna read any more tonight and uh, start reading my March TBR tomorrow so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up both of those would mean the absolute world to me and if you've read any of the books that I read in February let me know in the comments what you thought of them my instagram twitter goodreads and amazon wishlist will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking any of those out and i will see you in my next video bye